Apulia. Apulia is a region in southern Italy bordering the Adriatic Sea to the east, the Ionian Sea to the southeast, and the Strait of Otranto and Gulf of Taranto to the south. Its southernmost portion, known as the Salento Peninsula, forms a taco or heel on the boot of Italy. The region comprises, and its population is about 4 million. It is bordered by the other Italian regions of Molise to the north, Campania to the west, and Basilicata to the southwest. Across the Adriatic and Ionian seas, it faces Albania, Bosnia Herzegovina, Croatia, Greece, and Montenegro. The Apulia region extends as far north as Monte Gargano. Its capital city is Bari. Puglia's coastline is longer than that of any other mainland Italian region. In the north, the Gargano promontory extends out into the Adriatic while in the south, the dry Salento area forms the taco of Italy's boot. It is home to two national parks, the Altamergia National Park and Gargano National Park. Outside of national parks in the north and west, most of Apulia and particularly Salento is geographically flat with only moderate hills. The climate is typically Mediterranean with hot, dry and sunny summers and mild, rainy winters. Snowfall especially on the coast is rare but has occurred as recently as January 2017. Apulia is among the hottest and driest regions of Italy in summer with temperatures sometimes reaching up to and above 40 degrees in Lecce and Foggia. The coastal areas, particularly on the Adriatic and in the southern Salento region are frequently exposed to winds of varying strengths and directions, strongly affecting local temperatures and conditions, sometimes within the same day. The northerly bore wind from the Adriatic can lower temperatures, humidity and moderate summer heat while the southerly Sirocco wind from North Africa can raise temperatures, humidity and occasionally drop red dust from the Sahara. On some days in spring and autumn, it can be warm enough to swim in Gallipoli and Porto Cesario on the Ionian coast while at the same time, cool winds warrant jackets and sweaters in Monopoly and Otranto on the Adriatic coast. Apulia is one of the richest archaeological regions in Italy. It was first colonized by Mycenaean Greeks. A number of castles were built in the area by Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, including Castel del Monte, sometimes called the Crown of Apulia. After 1282, when the island of Sicily was lost, Apulia was part of the Kingdom of Naples, and remained so until the unification of Italy in the 1860s. This kingdom was independent under the House of Anjou from 1282 to 1442 then was part of Aragon until 1458, after which it was again independent under a cadet branch of the House of Trastamara until 1501. As a result of the French-Spanish War of 1501-1504, Naples again came under the rule of Aragon and the Spanish Empire from 1504 to 1714. When Barbary pirates of North Africa sacked Vieste in 1554, they took an estimated 7,000 slaves. The coast of Apulia was occupied at times by the Turks and at other times by the Venetians. In 1861 the region became part of the Kingdom of Italy, with the new capital city at Turin. In the words of one historian, Turin was so far away that Otrant was today closer to 17 foreign capitals than it is to Turin. The region's contribution to Italy's gross value added was around 4.6% in 2000 while its population was 7% of the total doubt the per capita GDP is low compared to the national average and represents about 68.1% of the EU average. The share of gross value added by the agricultural and services sectors was above the national average in 2000. The region has industries specializing in particular areas, including food processing and vehicles in Foggia, footwear and textiles in the Barletta area, and wood and furniture in the Merge area to the west. Between 2007 and 2013 the economy of Apulia expanded more than that of the rest of southern Italy. Such growth, over several decades, is a severe challenge to the hydrogeological system. Apulia's thriving economy is articulated into numerous sectors boasting several leading companies, aerospace, agriculture, automotive, food and beverage, furniture, ICT, publishing. The unemployment rate stood at 18.8% in 2017 and was higher than the national average. There is an estimated 50 to 60 million olive trees in Puglia, and the region accounts for 40% of Italy's olive oil production. There are four specific protected designation of origin covering the whole region. Olive varieties include Bersane, Biancalilla, Brandolfino, Bassionetto, Caroli, Salina di Nardo, Serajuola, Serignola, Cima di Bitonto. Cima di Mola, Coratina, also grown in Corning, California, 
a 2018 gold medal New York International Olive Oil Competition winner, Frontulio, Garganica, La Minuta, Lucino, Maresca, Nocellar Etnia, Nocellar Messanese, Oglarola, Oglarola Barese, Ogliara Messanese, Adabratica, Paranzana that is produced a certified ultra-premium extra virgin olive oil, Rotondella, Sandigates, Saracena, Dundibli, and Verdello. There has been an issue of marketed extra pure olive oil actually being imported from Spain, the Balkans, Turkey, and Tunisia. This includes the use of rectified lampont, being allowed due to a controversial 1995 law. The olive oil industry in Puglia is under threat from the pathogen Xylella fastidiosa, a disease which inhibits the uptake of water and nutrients by the trees. The southeastern part of Puglia is at the center of the epidemic. The region has a good network of roads, but the railway network is less comprehensive, particularly in the south. The region is crossed northwest to southeast by the A14 highway, which connects the region capital, Bari, to Taranto, the second most populous city in the region. The A14 also connects Foggia and points further north along the Adriatic coast to Pescara, Ancona, Rimini, and eventually, Bologna. The only other highway in the region is the A16 which crosses the Italian peninsula east-west and links the region with Napoli. There are two international airports, Carlo Voitil Airport and Bari and Brindisi Airport, which serves as the principal logistical hub for the United Nations Global Service Center headquartered in Brindisi. With the approval of a redevelopment project in 2018, the Grottigli Airfield will host a spaceport for the Italian Space Agency and Virgin Galactic. Emigration from the region's depressed areas to northern Italy and the rest of Europe was very intense in the years between 1956 and 1971. Subsequently, the trend declined as economic conditions improved, to the point where there was net immigration in the years between 1982 and 1985. Since 1986, the stagnation in employment has led to a new inversion of the trend, caused by a decrease in immigration. Since June 1, 2015, Former judge and mayor of Bari Michel Emiliano of the Democratic Party has served as president. Cuisine plays an important role throughout Apulia. The key locally produced ingredients used there include olive oil, artichokes, tomatoes, aubergine, asparagus, and mushrooms. In summer it is very common to use also the carozello, a variety of muskmelon which is often consumed in an immature state. Several PDO and PGI products are made in Apulia. Among can be found some types of cheese like the Canestrato Pugliese PDO and Barata di Andrea PGI, of olive oil like the Colina di Brindisi PDO, Downo PDO, Terra d'Otranto PDO, Terra Tarantine PDO and Terra di Bari PDO, some fruits and vegetables like the Arancia del Gargano PGI, Carciofo Brindisino PGI, Cipolla Bianca di Margarita PGI, Clementine del Golfo di Taranto PGI, La Bella della Downia PDO. Limone Feminello del Gargano PGI, Patata Novella di Galatina PGI and Uva di Puglia PGI. Moreover, also a type of bread, Pain di Altamora PDO and a legume called Lenticchia di Altamora PGI are present in the list. As with the other regions of Italy, the national language is Italian. However, because of its long and varied history, other historical languages have been used in this region for centuries. In isolated pockets of the southern part of Salento, a dialect of Greek called Greco is still spoken by a few thousand people. In addition, rare dialects of the Franco Provencal language called Fitar and the closely related cells are spoken by a dwindling number of individuals in the mountain villages of Fito and Sal di San Vito, in the province of Foggia. The Arborsh dialect of the Albanian language has been spoken by a small community since refugees settled there in the 15th century. See also, thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.